Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a favourites video for you. I haven't done one of these in ages since way before Christmas. I've just been sat looking at my little collection of things to tell you about and there is a definite theme running through them of just relaxing and enjoying myself over Christmas. So that's probably why most of these things have made the list. So I've got some foodie bits, a great product that the kids had for Christmas that I think is just amazing. The world's comfiest pair of pyjamas. My current favourite YouTube channel as well, so stay tuned to the end to find out who that is. I'm going to start with a bottle of gin, and I feel like in every single favourites video I show you a bottle of gin, and I don't want you to think that I have a problem when it comes to gin, although I do like it. And the reason I'm including this one is I would never have thought to try this flavour of gin had a friend of mine not introduced me to it on a night out. But she told me about it on this night out, I tried it, it was amazing, and it's now my new favourite thing. It's Quince Gin, and this isn't the one that I tried on that night, it's actually a different brand, but this was the only one I could get local to me. As you can see, it has been well loved over Christmas. She described it to me as a cross between peaches and apples, and that's about right. It's kind of fresh and almost citrusy. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's a really interesting flavour. The one that my friend gave me to try on our night out was actually slightly nicer than this one. That brand was Whitley's, and it's in a bright yellow bottle. You can get it on Amazon, and I think I might get that one next. This one they sold local to me, so I picked it up, and it's the... I've tried this, to pronounce this brand before and I just can't, I'll show you instead. It's these guys. And this one is actually quince and ginger. I can't taste the ginger in this at all, I can only taste the quince, but yeah, how many more times can I say quince in two minutes? This one's a gin liqueur rather than just a gin, so it's not quite as strong, but yeah, if you like gin, I would highly recommend it. I promise I will not mention a gin in my next favourites video. Next up is another thing that I shouldn't be eating at the moment because I'm trying to be good and all that boring stuff. But these were a Christmas gift and they are just incredible. I've tried Charbonnel and Walker chocolates before, always thought they were lovely, but these are on another level. These are the Milk and Dark Sea Salt Caramel Truffles. They are every bit as good as they sound. What I like about these is they're quite rich, so I don't eat many of them. I can eat maybe two or three and then I've had enough, so that's good, although there's probably 500 calories per chocolate. Next up is another Christmas gift and I actually got these from my husband and he did good. He got me a pair of Ugg slippers. I had a pair of these years ago and I wore them to death. I wore them till they had holes in. I probably had them for about five, six years. They did really, really well. But they're so expensive that unless it's a gift, I just can't bring myself to fork out for them because they are super pricey. So in between those ones dying and getting these, I've been wearing different slippers from different places. I've tried Primark. The last pair I had, which I really did love, was from a brand called Sheepers. They lasted me really well. They were sheepskin ones as well, as you might guess from the name. And they were like moccasin style, embroidered ones. They were really pretty, really comfy. And they did last me a good 18 months, I would say, before they literally fell to pieces and there were giant holes in them. So long story short, I was over the moon that Dan bought me these. I probably wouldn't have bought them for myself, but I'm more than happy to receive them. Next up is the most comfortable pair of pyjamas I've ever owned. I call them pyjamas, but I probably wouldn't sleep in them because I would most likely burst into flames because they are so warm. It is these. They're from ASOS. They make me look and feel like a Care Bear. So I will insert a picture so you can see what they look like on because I don't think anyone needs to see a picture of me wearing these on the internet. They're not the most flattering, but I don't care because they are insanely comfortable. Pop these on after you've had a bath to watch a movie and it doesn't get much better than that. These are my Ugg slippers. Have been keeping me very snugly and happy so far this winter. Next up is a skincare product that I've recently gone back to and I'm really pleased that I'm using it again. It's this Glossier Cleanser. It's the Milky Jelly Cleanser. I had a bit of a dabble with some other cleansers recently. I just wanted to try something new. They were okay, but they were nowhere near as good as this. This just seems to really agree with my skin type. It takes makeup off really well. It hydrates, but doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy or any residue on it. Yeah, it's just really a nice, good cleanser and it's not too expensive either. I think it's around £15 for a decent sized bottle. There's 177ml in there. So yeah, a really good cleanser if you're in the market for a new one. My next favourite is a book that I'm currently reading. If you've seen my 2019 reading list video, if you haven't, I'll link it for you. 
But I bought some new books to see me through the start of the year. I want to read a lot more this year and this was the first one that I chose and it's This Is Going To Hurt. I'm over halfway through already and I'm enjoying it so much that I had to include it. It's such a good book. It's funny and it's heartbreaking in places and it's so well written. It's really cleverly done and what I like about it is that it's written in such short segments so it means you can just read little bits here and there rather than having to commit to a really long chapter which makes it a lot easier for me i'm trying to get back into reading after not being very good at it for quite some time so this was the perfect one for me to start back up with my next favorite item is extremely random i'm not entirely sure why i'm including it other than if your house is anything like mine, you might thank me for it. It's this charging cable. I don't know what's going on in this house, but charging cables just evaporate into thin air. They vanish. It's the weirdest thing, and nobody seems to know where they were seen last, what happened to them. We've lost so many, and it's one of those little niggly, like, things that make us argue as a family because someone is always looking for a charger and can't find one. So I've tried lots of cheaper ones. I've bought ones from the pound shop, which I'm never convinced are all that safe. So I've kind of stopped doing that now. The kids had these for Christmas and they are so good. And I've since been on Amazon and looked them up and they've got such good reviews. They're by a brand called Anchor and they are super long charging cables. And what's brilliant about them is they're really durable and they don't like break at this point where the Apple, the ones that come with your iPhone or your iPad, can sometimes get a bit weak and like bendy at the end. These don't do that. They are apparently really, really durable. I like how long they are. I think they're six, I was gonna say six meters. I'm terrible with like measurements and stuff. They're definitely not six meters long. Six foot, I guess, rather than meters. Six foot long, so they're longer than your standard Apple ones. And they weren't that expensive either. They come in different colors. So you can, you know, give each member of the family a different color one, so there's no mixing them up. I just think they're really good and definitely worth buying a couple if your house is anything like mine and charges just go missing every single day. My next favourite is another one that the kids had for Christmas and I wanted to include it just because I think it's so cute and a bit different and it makes a fab gift and it's these night lights. They're these little gummy bears and I think they're one of my favourite things that they had this year. They are little night lights that you can take into bed with you. The idea is that you can cuddle them in bed if you want to or they sit nicely on your shelf or on a bedside table or you can hang them up on the wall. They've got a little hole at the back. You can plug them in with a micro USD and they'll just stay lit or you can put batteries in them. You just squeeze their tummy to light them up and they will stay on like that or you can set a sleep timer and I think they go off after about half an hour on their own. You can get them from Amazon, they vary in price depending on the colour, but they're around the 20, 25 pound mark, which isn't the cheapest, but it's the kind of thing that I think they'll have for years. Merrin is, this is Merrin's, and she has it every night next to her bed. She loves it. It's quite a nice, soft light as well, so it's not too bright, so it's a perfect night light and a lovely gift. So my final favourite is a YouTube channel that I can't get enough of at the moment and it's Lucy Wood. I've known of Lucy through some other vloggers that I watch for a while now but I never really discovered her channel until just before Christmas and it's one of those that once I found it, that was it, I just had to binge watch all of her videos. She's so down to earth, funny, genuinely laugh out loud funny, relatable just a lovely, she just seems like such a lovely girl and I love all of her videos. The second she uploads a new one, I have to watch it straight away. She's just brilliant. If you haven't seen her channel before, go and watch at least one of her videos and I'm sure you will love her. So those are some of my favourite things that I've been really enjoying lately. What have you been enjoying? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Hopefully you've been enjoying my 30 Day Me series so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love you to stick around. There's lots more videos to come. I'm uploading every day in the month of January. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.